Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome. On behalf of the entire Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory team, welcome on this very special day that's been a century in the making. 100 years ago today, Babe Ruth signed a contract with Hillerick and Bradsby Company, the makers of Louisville Slugger Bats. And it was a contract like no other. It allowed our company to make his Louisville Slugger Bats forever. And the Bambino developed a very warm and lasting relationship with the Hillerick family. The same family that owns this museum and this factory today. We started making Louisville Slugger Bats in 1884. We've made them every day since then for Louisville Slugger. Please welcome from Louisville Slugger, Mr. Rick Redman. Thanks, Ann. Appreciate it. It's really great to be here today to celebrate this great occasion and quite simply I think we all know that Babe Ruth is the greatest to have ever played the game. We all know about his 714 career home runs and how he changed the game by swinging for the fences but he was an all-around player and the greatest hitter to ever step into the batter's box. For example take in consideration some of these statistics first in career OPS, on base percentage plus slugging percentage, with an incredible 1.164 OPS. Just ridiculous. 10th highest career batting average, 342. 12-time 12, uh, home run leader, seven-time world champion, and of course, I could stand here all day long and tick off the statistics of Babe Ruth, but we don't have that much time. On July 9th, 1918, Babe Ruth was a 23-year-old pitcher for the Boston Red Sox. And not just any ordinary pitcher. In four previous seasons, he had already won 67 games. He did a few home runs too, nine in 161 games from 1915 through 1917. From 1918, the year he signed his back contract with Louisville Slugger and beyond, he go on to hit 705 more home runs to get to that 714 mark we're all familiar with. And that would include his record 60 home run season in a 154 game season in 1927 with a bat right around the corner here in this museum that helped hit 21 of those record 60 home runs. So while Babe Ruth was a great pitcher and became a great hitter, we like to think that Louisville Slugger had a little something to do with that. So it is with tremendous pride that Louisville Slugger, now in its 134th season in baseball, recognizes the 100th anniversary of its incredible partnership with the great Babe Ruth, the Bambino, the Sultan of Swat. And we're really truly thrilled with the announcement and the unveiling that the museum is about to do here today. So without further delay, I hand it back to Ann to take care of that. Let's get it going. Thank you, Rick. So 10 years ago, uh, Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory unveiled a groundbreaking exhibit, a hands-on exhibit called Hold a Piece of History, where we allow guests to hold bats that were actually used by the greatest players in the game. And when we first opened that exhibit, we had a half dozen bats in there. Uh, it was so popular with our guests, just delighted our guests so much that we now have a bat for every team, at least one bat for every team, and all the players are Hall of Fame or uh, All-Star caliber. But there has been one that we've been searching for. We have dreamed of the day when we could place a Babe Ruth bat into the hands of our guests, and the day has arrived. So our curatorial team, Chris Myman and Bailey Mazik. Beneath this velvet is a bat that Babe Ruth used sometime during the 1933-34 seasons. From his hands to all of yours, we present this mighty Babe Ruth bat. So one thing that makes this bat very unique, at some point it was uh, uh, altered to be used for training. 
as well. So it's got some lead in the barrel and a cork cap on it, which was a, a common way to do a training bat back in those days. And he, uh, it also has some scoring on it. it. It's been well used, the experts tell us, by Bay, by some of the signs that are on here, the scoring on the handle and some of the other marks on the bat. So now we move on. Everyone here will get to hold this bat at some point if you'd like to today, don't worry. But who gets to bat lead off for us with this amazing bat? So we've asked our guests today uh, who would like to be the first to hold the bat. And Sierra Bachman, please step on forward here. Hi, Sierra. How you doing? Great, great, great. So um, tell us a little bit about why you wanted to hold this bat. You're, you're, you've heard stories of the babe all your life. Um, my dad's side of the family grew up in New York, so when I was young, me and my sisters always heard stories about the Yankees, Lou Gehrig, Derek Jeter, Babe Ruth, and all of the major players out there, and it just stuck with me, Ruth, and all the stories I got from my grandpa and my father, and it stuck with me. And you've called your dad. Your dad couldn't make it today, but you let him know what you're about to do. How did he take that? He was so excited, he couldn't believe it. He like immediately asked like what I was gonna do and like if it was on a TV station or anything. So all right. Well we know we'll have one person tuning in for sure. So Chris, you wanna come on forward and we will get you ready here. All right. Hey, batter, batter, looking good, Sierra. Very nice. Babe would be proud, wouldn't he? We really believe Babe would be happy to know that his bat is still delighting folks here 100 years after he signed that contract with us.